The WWE is the place to earn some serious change. Now don't get me wrong, indie wrestlers like the Young Bucks and Marty Skrull are great and earn a great living. But for every Jackson brother, there is at least a thousand wrestlers sleeping in cars and eating barely enough. So when you make it to the big scene, you start earning six figures at the Stanford-based promotion. You feel like you've made it. These guys, though, are another level. These guys are earning so much money, and they all have the scars to prove it. All information is sourced from Forbes.com, so stick around to see who earns the big bucks in Vince's fun house of big sweaty men. Number 10, Dean Ambrose, real name Jonathan Good. His earnings last year were $1.1 million. The lunatic fringe is making it big in the WWE after years in CZW and other indie promotions. He spent his early years wrestling generally covered in blood, working his backside off to get noticed and to be put on a great show. Then, after making it to the big leagues, he was part of probably the biggest and best faction in years, and it is no surprise that the other members are also in this list. Surprise, surprise. So, for the former tag team, US, Intercontinental, and World Champion, it shows that hard work really does pay off. Number 9, Kane, real name Glenn Jacobs, earnings of $1.3 million at 7 feet tall, weighing in more than 300 pounds. Kane is a monstrous abomination that seems to have been extracted directly from your childhood nightmares. Or at least that's what the WWE wants you to think. Glenn Jacobs is now running for mayor, actually, if you want a side fact. But the man has stepped back a little. But for 20 years, he was the go-to big guy in WWE. And for that loyalty, for that hard work, and for that respect, Vince thinks that 1.3 million to not even turn up that's fair, and you know what? I happen to agree. For 20 years of being awesome, Kane definitely deserves $1.3 million. Number 8, Big Show, Paul White, $1.5 million. Well, it's the Big Show. Sorry if you're wearing headphones, and my cat and my girlfriend are both giving me really weird looks right now, but whenever you say that, you have to sing his song. It's just true. And there's a reason that he's so synonymous with not only his song, but with the WWE. He made his debut in WCW so long ago. When I was zero years old, genuinely the same year I was born, he started wrestling. And he is still going today, and perhaps in the best shape of his career. He is, along with Kane, the previous entry, a monster, and has been in the WWE constantly the whole time since my whole life basically so for me 1.5 million to basically spend your entire life giving blood sweat and tears it sounds like a reasonable trade so good job big show good job great theme tune too number seven the undertaker mark calloway two million dollars that's two million dollars for one match a year that's like six million dollars an hour. I'm in the wrong job. But he has been there for three decades and stood by Vince through all of it. It's kind of amazing how many offers he got from everywhere else in the wrestling business and said no. He stood by Vince and he led the locker room. He f was for a very long time the leader of the locker room. And any issues that arose with wrestlers came to him first. He kept that up for so many years and now commands so much respect. When he retired at WrestleMania 33, the wrestling world stood still. So, again, $2 million? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Number 6, Roman Reigns, Joe Anawaii. $2.1 million. Because, of course, Roman Reigns earns more than The Undertaker. Roman, Roman Roman, Roman Reigns. So the guy, or sorry, actually, sorry, the guy loves him some WWE, and even more, WWE loves them some Roman Reigns. So it, it kind of comes at no surprise that this guy earns so much money. He's headlined three WrestleManias, he's won two Rumbles, he's won every title under the bloody sun. And this is the guy the WWE want to push. The fans don't want you to push him, but this is the guy that they're pushing. So it makes sense that they're paying him 2.1 
million dollars. Damn, that's a lot of money. Number five, Seth Rollins, real name Colby Lopez, $2.4 million. Seth freaking Rollins. Triple H.2. This guy made the shield. This guy ran the shield. This guy gets the most money from everyone in the shield. And I guess rightfully so. He's held every belt under the sun and is now sort of above title. He's in major feuds all the time. And he's being lined up to be one of the next big guys. Possibly the next Triple H. I think he is kind of Triple H.2, isn't he? So, I guess $2.4 million? Yeah, that's fair, I guess. Number four, Randy Orton. Randall Keith Orton. $2.7 million. Randy Orton has been in the WWE now for... um, Hold on. Just doing some maths. Um, Forever. That's how long he's been in the WWE. Literally forever. I think Jesus may have wrestled him. And he's kind of a bit stale nowadays. But he's still a draw. The fans still seem to love him. And even though he's about as interesting as a piece of bread. Without anything on it. He's still worth more than 2.7 million to the company. So the company are more than happy to pay him 2.7 million dollars. I mean, merchandise alone is three times that. So, I guess, until the fans realise that he's like sliced bread, but, you know, even more boring, he's going to continue to get paid that much money, and the fans will continue to love him. Number three, Triple H. Okay, this is where the list is going to get a little bit weird from here on onwards, because these guys don't just earn money from here. The earnings now are going to be just from wrestling. Triple H, for example, our number three, or Paul Levesque, if you want his real name, uh, earned $2.8 million from wrestling last year. However, he's also the COO of the company and executive president of Talent Relations. So he gets another wage, or another couple of wages, and he has a share in the company, and he has other projects. So, don't get me wrong, this isn't all he earns. But, again, for one match a year, the guy's basically paying himself... $2.8 $2.8 million. Where can I get a job where I can pay myself $2.8 million? I am more than willing to wear tights and oil myself up for $2.8 million once a year. Like, seriously, if any of you are watching this, I will be more than willing to do that. Number two, Brock Lesnar. Again, sorry if you're wearing headphones. Uh, $6 million, by the way, Brock Lesnar earned last year. Six million dollars. That's over twice as much as our last entry. And he's only number two. Brock, again, he earns a lot of money from doing other things like farming and shooting animals and shooting animals and farming. But the Minnesotan, well, I mean, he kind of earns that, doesn't he? He's a big name, possibly the biggest name in WWE. When his name is on a pay-per-view card, people go, I might watch that. So he kind of, you know, he brings that in and that's fair. Brock's been in the company now since I was seven. Yeah, since I was seven. And he's still going strong. He's still more beasty than ever. And still kicking ass. And um, earning a lot of money, as it turns out. Yay, Brock. Do I do I really need to say who's number one? No, do I have to say who's number one? Number one, John Cena. Of course it's John Cena. Of course. Why wouldn't it be John Cena? John Cena's number one in everything. $9.5 million. And that's just from wrestling. He does like films and merchandise and ticket sales. Just from wrestling, $9.5 million. That's so much money. Like, like so much money. Again, all he has to do is come down in bright coloured t-shirts, say three catchphrases, do five moves... And earn $9.5 million. And the amazing thing is, he earns more than that for the company. He earns hundreds of millions of dollars for the company. And I don't know how. But it would make sense that John is top of the list. And there really is no surprise. Uh, you know, the number one, two, and three in this list, to be honest. So, that's the top ten earning wrestlers in WWE right now. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you think this is a load of tripe. Or if you think that 
yeah, that's fair. These guys definitely earn this much money and they definitely deserve this much money. Leave me a comment, tell me what you think, give me ideas for more lists and hit me up on Twitter at WCCW Podcast. Thank you very much. I've been Michael Hayes. You've been awesome and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.